Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 12. In the software industry, it's common practice for the hiring process to include a whiteboard technical interview. Typically, the candidate writes code to solve a problem while describing their process out loud while being observed by an interviewer. So, how effective is this tech interview process? North Carolina State University and Microsoft conducted a study in which half of the job applicants had a conventional technical interview, with an interviewer looking on while they solved and described their solution. The other half solved their problem on a whiteboard in a private room. The study found that people who took the traditional interview performed half as well as people who were able to interview in private. The findings suggest that companies are missing out on talented programmers who aren't good at writing on a whiteboard and explaining their work out loud while coding. The traditional tech interview format may serve as a barrier to entire classes of candidates. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 13 for more. A new study from Harvard and other organizations evaluated digital data streams and other sources as early warning indicators of U.S. COVID-19 activity between January and June 2020. The study also reviewed COVID-19 patterns after implementation of mask wearing, social distancing, and other non-pharmaceutical interventions. The study proposes a plan that may aid in developing an early warning system for future COVID-19 outbreaks. Further research is called for. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 13 for more. Around the world, governments of all types have used social media in compelling ways, sometimes weaponizing the perception of truth. Russian-born British journalist Peter Pomerantsev deconstructs this phenomenon in his new book, This Is Not Propaganda, Adventures in the War Against Reality. Pomerantsev explores the historical progression of propaganda tools and tactics from the Kremlin to the current disinformation age. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you.